it was a chase, police on foot, and two officers in a patrol car. Get on the ground, you're making shot! Get on the ground! You're making shot! I will shoot you! Shot. I will shoot you! Get on the ground! Four police officers, part of the Group Violence Reduction Unit, in pursuit of 17-year-old William Gardner, who's holding a gun, police say. In body-worn camera footage, police highlight the gun with a red circle seen in Gardner's hand before he appeared to point his weapon at police. Then gunfire, the teen shot down, dead. Go! <laughs> Good afternoon. At a news conference Friday, Baltimore police releasing the body-worn camera footage to the public. This is truly a tragic incident and the investigation is ongoing. Police Commissioner Richard Worley addressing questions, including was this excessive force or did his officers respond appropriately? The officers are chasing an individual who is clearly armed. Um, they get up to the individual. They tried to take him into custody. They, off, they um, warned him normal, numerous times to drop the weapon. He doesn't drop the weapon. He turns and points the weapon towards the officer. The officers open fire. So they acted appropriately? It's still part of the investigation. Worley and says three officers fired at least 20 times at Gardner with 12 bullets striking him. Video footage shows Gardner falling to the ground, losing his grip on a gun in one hand and a cell phone in the other. Police say Gardner was armed but did not fire his weapon. The shooting happened Monday at the corner of West Baltimore and North Stricker Streets. Police say it all started when the officers investigating an earlier shooting in the area spotted Gardner and others on a sidewalk. An officer approached Gardner. He started running away. Police caught him. There was a brief struggle, then gunfire. Gardner fatally shot. Police say the officer initially approached Gardner because he exhibited characteristics of someone who may be armed with a handgun. And if you look at the video, you can see his hand is clearly on something in his waistband, and that's characteristic of they don't have the, the most of your suspects don't have holsters, so the gun has got to be held in place as it'll run them because it'll bounce or fall out. Well, the Maryland Attorney General's Office and BPD are investigating this shooting. Meantime, the officers involved are on administrative leave pending the outcome of the investigation. We're live tonight, Keith Daniels, Fox 45 News. I'm Mary Bubala. Thank you for watching. Here's another video for you to watch. Also take some time to subscribe to our YouTube channel.